What's up everybody, Drew here. Today's video is a good one. Today I am talking about how much I charge for my iPad photo booth rentals. I get asked this a lot and I am surprised it kind of took me this long to do this video. Um, but I, before I get into the video, I have to ask you guys, why aren't you subscribed? If you are, thank you. If you're not, and this is your second or third or fourth video of mine you've seen, please subscribe, costs nothing, and it really helps the channel. And it makes me actually make more videos. The more subscribers, that means that people are watching, they're finding it interesting. So anyways, let's just get right into it. How much do we charge and how do we structure our pricing? All right, so let's just break it down really quick. We actually charge a la carte, meaning that we don't have packages, right? Your traditional, I would say about 90% of people that operate their photo business have packages. Package one will be, you know, two hours with this, this, and this, and then, you know, the next package, package two, this, 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 with this, and it's more money. I like to do a la carte because it allows me to drop my price very, very low. So what do I mean? Well, let's just talk about our business, which is the iPad booths. Well, uh, for 300 bucks, you get this booth here, right? Or one of our other booths, depending on which one we want to take out for the day. Just the booth, when I say that, I mean the shell with the iPad and the photo option, and they get digital only, meaning that they can only text or email their photos. And why we do it this way is because when I do my advertising or you know I post my, my prices anywhere, people are interested. Not for the fact that it's only $300, but for the fact that they get it all day, meaning anytime from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So right away what I've done is I've created value, I've created a reason for the customers to reach out to me because not, not too many people are doing this, right? And this is kind of why I'm excited to share and make this video is because there is an opportunity. Um, you don't have to do it my way, but I'm just telling you guys what works for us and what's allowed us to do you know, about 120 in rental revenue last year alone. Um, so let's just talk about the upgrades because obviously I'm not just making $300 from the rental. Um, the first upgrade I would say is the hours. So if you wanted the booth from anytime before 11 a.m. or anytime after 11 p.m., you have to pay $50 per hour after that. And um, an easy way to explain it to your customers is just say, hey, look, our days actually start around 10 a.m. and we're not getting home until midnight. So you know, there's overtime that we have to pay. If we have employees working with us, we have to pay them for that time. So most of the time, the customers are cool with just just you coming at 11, if they're partying at midnight, they're like, you know what, 11's fine. Um, but you will have the rare occasion where customers will pay that extra money and you know, to us it's like, all right, we'll stay an extra hour or we'll come an hour early. Um, that's the first upgrade. The, um, my favorite upgrade is uh, $75. It'll unlock the boomerang, GIF, and video feature. So if you're familiar with Luma Booth, you can actually do four experiences with the iPad booth. Uh, one would be the photo session, which is included with the 300. The second is the GIF, which is basically just taking three photos, putting them in um, sequence, and playing it in a, like a video file. Third is boomerang, where it'll take a burst of photos and then play it in a loop. You could slow that loop down or you could speed it up. Most of the time we have it speed it up. And then the fourth one, one is video where it'll record a video, which is just basically, you know, audio with video recording. So $75, you guys. And I would say maybe about 60 to 70% of our customers pay that upgrade. And why it's my favorite is because it's literally as easy as getting your iPad, going to capture mode on Luma Booth, and hitting three buttons. That's it. It's that easy. So that is my one of my favorite upgrades. Obviously, we have backdrops available. We charge $100 um, for our customers to use our backdrops, which obviously we come and set up. Um, why we charge that much and how I justify it is I explain that these are premium backdrops j designed specifically for photo booths. They're seven and a half feet by seven and a half feet. They're pillow tight and they're very time consuming when it comes to setup and breakdown. So that's why we charge that price. And I also mentioned too, like, look, you know, it's a premium product, but I can, you can just, you know, I like to further explain, it's gonna make the photos pop and it's gonna really add a little bit of elegance and class to just the setup. Um, and you know, when I say that they understand, I, you know, at that point I've already sent them photos, some examples of what the photos look like with the backdrop or without it. All right guys, so a good example of why we structure our pricing to have a la carte is because sometimes, like I said, <laughs> customers have their own backdrop. It's such a unique customized backdrop. This isn't something that I would provide so it just makes sense and if you're working with a lot of event coordinators event planners 
they're gonna have their own backdrops a lot of the times too. So this is a, <clears throat> just a good example of why we think pricing everything a la carte makes sense. So moving forward, we do offer props. Uh, we call it the prop table. It includes the table with the side skirt, then with the props, that's $50. And we have an internet activation, which we charge $20. And what that means is um, if they don't pay for the internet activation, um, they have to use their own internet, meaning their own Wi-Fi or hotspot, whatever it is. And this is an easy, easy upcharge because it's only 20 bucks. And I always explain to the customers, hey, look, this photo booth needs internet. If your internet doesn't work or if it cuts off, the booth won't send the photos right away. It'll send once we get the booth to a uh, solid internet service. You do that one time a, a month, right? That'll pay for your, your service on your hotspot or your uh, SIM card for your iPad, right? The cell service. That is a must is, you know, think about it like this, you guys. Chipotle charges you for guacamole. Think about it, you know, you're at Chipotle, like they have to charge for the guac because the avocado is expensive. It's not like, you know, the salsa, right? They'll give you a, five scoops of salsa because it's nowhere near the cost of an avocado. So um, moving forward, um, another upcharge we have would be to make an extra template so we do one free template design and um, I always explain uh, before we start the template artwork that if they want a completely different template after we make the first one like literally you guys they want to change the design they want to change everything we charge $50 for that the reason being is we don't want to become graphic design artists right because if you don't set boundaries and let your customers know that they get one design they'll have you make five why not I mean think about it like if you're not setting that boundary the customer doesn't know the effort and energy that it's taking you to design all they know is when you send the template to them they see it and that's it they don't really know what goes into it so you know most of the time it's not their fault but set that boundary and let let that be known that there is a fee for the extra template work another upgrade we have is actually having an attendant at the photo booth drop-off um, doesn't happen often um, maybe just a few times literally but we will charge an extra $50 an hour to have an attendant there for the digital only reason being is if we have to uh, either be there or hire someone to be there, we have to get paid for it. The whole benefit of having the low price of, with a digi booth is because there's no attendant. We don't have to stay there. That's it's passive, so we're able to have a lower price. So, you know, we do have that option available. Um, a lot of times, customers will ask me about um, the attendant. They say, "Hey, how does it work? We need someone there to run it." That's when I explain you do you do not need someone there. It's a simple setup. Since there's no prints, there's no need for someone to be there because there's no paper jams. There's no empty printer. Um, and I always explain too, like, look, having no attendant there is going to make for a more private photo booth session. Let's just say, you know, I tell the customer, your cousin and his wife, they want to kiss on the photos they will but if there's someone there they may not want to be intimate or do that so having someone there is is good if you're printing but if you're not printing there's no need so we do offer prints for our photo booth we do um, two options right they can do hourly where the package starts at 750 for three hour minimum and that is including everything the booth with the printer the props the backdrop and obviously the attendant like I just you know explained and we do have an option to do hourly plus plus all day digital meaning that they can have it from any time from 11 a.m to 11 p.m digital only and then let's just say they want three hours of printing they can either add that to the beginning of the rental or at the end and why it's important to do that is you don't want to have the printing in the middle because that means you're going to have to either wait there at the event or make another trip in between the time right so most of the time it's at the end. So let's just, just I'll just explain it how it works. Um, someone books us, they want the all day rental with the three hour printing. Let's say we'll show up at one o'clock, have the booth ready by two, digital only, and then we'll come 15 minutes before eight o'clock to get the printer ready. Uh, 15 minutes is perfect amount of time. It's literally, you know, you've, we've done it so many times, it's, it's enough time. And then uh, the booth will be out of service for 15 minutes. And then once it hits eight o'clock, we stay there. We'll do the prints, obviously, they could still text and email photos as well. And then once 11 p.m. hits, we pack everything everything up and we go home. But to have the digital plus the uh, three hour printing, it is $1,000, that's, that's the price that we charge for that. So, you know, we like to, to still have the flexibility of having all day photo booth, but also include the printing. And we want it to make sense for us, right? I know that sounds like a lot of money, um, 
but you know the fact that we have to stay there and i always preach this you know if you're taking my passive passive business away i'm going to charge you for it right that's my mindset on that and um, a lot of times people may not want to pay the printing price they may think it's too much and that's just when i say well i totally understand that and that's why we have the digital only experience so this is pretty much the pricing for our rental business and um, before i sign off i want to just talk again the negative part about pricing it like this is you're gonna have to do a lot of educating, a lot of, uh, you're gonna have a lot of questions from your customers because not a lot of people are doing this. They, they're gonna ask you, what is a backdrop? They're gonna ask you all these questions that you, you're gonna hear often and um, it's all part of the game, right? If you have a package deal, right? Like you're, you know, a lot of people will call it a platinum package or a package one it's easy for them to see, right? The customers just go on the website, they're like, okay, the photo booth for two hours is this price, blah, 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 versus they see yours and they may not understand it, but again, it's all part of the business. I'm more than willing to talk to the customer and explain it to them, and um, I'd rather do it that way than not get them um, as a lead, if that makes any sense. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, but before I sign off, if you are interested in getting started in the iPad photo booth business, you guys, I have a company called photobooth101.com. I'll leave that linked in the description. We sell iPad photo booths, we sell backdrops, we sell props included. It is also a group chat with other photo booth entrepreneurs. Uh, you'll get sample contracts, sample booking forms, um, and just a bunch of other assets that you're gonna need for your business. And again, I'll leave that in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video video and I'll see you soon. Take care.